Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today is December 24th. I'm actually in Bulgaria. I just landed and currently at the airport, which looks like something that came out of a zombie apocalypse movie. It's absolutely disgusting. So currently it's 11 o'clock in Bulgaria and for me it's 9 o'clock and I've slept about 40 minutes. My flight was at 5.40, so I look absolutely deranged and disgusting. And overall we're not doing great. The flight was also so turbulent. So many times I was falling asleep and then I get woken up by this sudden shaking and I think oh my god we've landed and I look outside and you know we were just doing this I'm in Bulgaria for a one week I took the whole time off mainly because I had to because I had too many holiday days that I have I was going to lose them I just wanted to start the vlog say hi and I guess say bye <laughs> I'll talk to you in a bit time for an update so I went home I fell asleep it was good my mom had bought some banitza with some buza and if you don't know what that is you haven't lived so i ate that or at least as much as i could and i passed out and it was marvelous until i had to wake up currently it's around three o'clock and i'm actually going to go find some monster today actually i haven't had any caffeine and you already know how much i've slept so i don't even know how i'm surviving i need to throw away my box as well riveting content not this way this bitch needs caffeine i need it desperately the other thing i'm getting is snacks i have a turkish friend in london we've started this thing where where we go home or somewhere we bring each other snacks i got so many amazing snacks from turkey the bar is so high we kind of said that it's not gonna be a competition but bitch it is on this is uh, snack hunt number one i'm just gonna be hunting for snacks the whole time i'm here and probably gonna bring like 10 kilos of them the plan for now is to do some editing actually and then I'm gonna go for a run with my sister and my dad and then we're gonna have our Christmas Eve dinner I'm gonna start the collection in this bag let's see how much it's gonna grow by the end of this trip and now I want my friend to try everything and also there's so many like snacks that have been around for years and I've never actually tried them myself because there's just so many it's gonna be an experience for everyone involved I didn't edit, I fell asleep. And now we're gonna go for a run with sister. Say hi to the vlog. We have a run together in a very long time. We used to go to this track in the National Sports Academy, which is nearby. And now they've renovated it and it's like all new and shiny and I haven't tried it yet, so I'm excited. I am leaving that in by the way um, But yeah, I'm so dead like oh my god I, I just keep falling asleep wherever I sit I just fall asleep immediately. It's currently six o'clock. So we're gonna eat dinner around eight Lele This uh, looks a bougie, you know, what are your thoughts about the new track? For, are you excited? Yeah, of course. Are you gonna be running your best Three ever? Thousand. Yeah, with time full stomach. You have full stomach. I've been sleeping for the last two hours <laughs> Top athletes Los gets. Los gets indeed. I'm not mentally prepared for this though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. What's the deal? Hello. Hi. Damn. Hello. I didn't really vlog the dinner itself because it was kind of like quality family time so I wanted to put my phone, my camera away etc and just enjoy um, this evening with my family. Made myself a cup of tea which smells really nice. It's sage tea, I don't think I've had that one before. I'm going through a proper tea obsession phase so I'm having teas all the time. And it's funny that my mom has a box of teas and whenever I come home she always offers and I've never cared for tea at all. And I'm always like no thank you, no thank you. The answer is always no. And now all of a sudden I'm like yes tea show me the box it's 1 30 so it's already too late and tomorrow we're going to see my grandma so we're traveling so i need to get to sleep i'm gonna say good night for now i'm gonna be saying this is all for today i will see you tomorrow good morning merry christmas it's currently my watch is dying i think it's around 11 o'clock i slept for like nine hours and i feel like i need at least nine more so we're gonna go open christmas gifts now and then we're gonna go to my grandma we're already kind of late but we're literally always late so i feel like we're kind of just on time really mm. let's go open some gifts my mom got me oat milk so proud Hola. Hola. 
We made it to Cervembreak, which is where my grandma lives. Good morning and Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> we always stop at the cemetery to leave flowers for my grandma and no grandma. Wow, grandpa. Sorry, I'm, I'm asleep. I'm sorry, grandpa. Hopefully not grandma anytime soon and my uncle as well, which is what mother is currently doing The weather is so nice. It's like 13 14 degrees, which is quite unusual for this time of the year And this is my Christmas jumper So cute Dobar den. Oh. Baba pomaha na kamerat. Majka. Baby old school. Ti si mi stativa. Update time, so we had lunch with grandma, it was good And then we decided to go on a walk around the city I haven't actually walked around here in a very long time Because normally we come, we have lunch, hang out And then we go back to Sofia And this time I was like, can we just do a little walk? I need my steps You can see the city church There we go Fun fact, this is actually the church where I was baptized Because my grandma was the one who was really into baptizing the grandchildren I might go inside just to see what it looks like these days Even though I think God is still mad at me for something I did in October And I need to uh, work on my relationship with uh, him I'm not sure if he's over it yet Time for some proper nostalgia Let's see Malko moj brat <laughs> oh, it's a boring one. <laughs> We're back in Sofia. My dad and I just tried to go running, but the truck was closed, bizarrely so. We're currently in the supermarket because I'm gonna go see my bestie. I wanna get her some stuff. And also, this is a big supermarket, so it's time for uh, snack hunt number two. Let's go. I'm so excited to see this idiot. Haven't seen her since September. So much has changed, and I have so much to tell her, and she has so much to tell me. She has so much to tell me and I don't think we'll have time to say everything because we're only seeing each other for a short while until tomorrow. I'm so excited. And I also brought her these. You don't know how important this is, but it is. I just woke up, it's almost 12 o'clock I'm gonna go downstairs for coffee I haven't made my bed yet, so it's a mess behind me, don't look There's nothing to see My dad asked me to pick up some banichka for him And this is where they come from The worse they look, the better the banitsa They're not open though, whoa <laughs> So no banitsa it's currently 4.30 and I came to run with my dad I really want to do a 10k today Last time I ran I did 8.5 Generally I don't have the training for a 10 But I felt so fine with 8.5 That I feel like 10 should be easy At the same time I feel very lazy But I feel like maybe if I officially state that I'm Trying to do a 10k here on the vlog I'm gonna feel really embarrassed if I don't So that's gonna keep me accountable I did it! 10k! It wasn't actually particularly difficult as well I am quite surprised by myself and actually according to the initial readings and I just got a notification from Strava I think that was my fastest 10k ever not that my previous one was particularly amazing but Max yep <laughs> personal best Before? PR for 10k 
Yeah. One hour and three minutes. Yeah. I'm gonna do a quick stretch and go because it's cold. So if we're not moving, we're freezing quickly. Yeah, <laughs> Look who's back! Michael! And I'm having my smoky tea and I'm about to go on a walk with my sister. I brought them some smoky tea that I found in London recently and I'm absolutely obsessed. My dad is like kind of alright with it, but it's one of those things that you need a while to get used to it. My mom is like, no. It's like washing your fireplace and... Yeah, it's like okay. drinking fire. Michael, are you gonna try it? He looks absolutely disgusted. It's so cold. Unfortunately, I don't have a travel mug here. I am with Bestie again. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so we're going out. We're getting ready together. This little side path. Would you like to say hi to the vlog? So basically from England, I brought her a chocolate orange because who doesn't like a chocolate orange? She literally bought me the same thing. I didn't even know you can find those in Bulgaria. I think they're really difficult to find though, aren't they? Yeah. We got each other the exact same thing. If that's not a thing, I don't know what is. The only difference is that I gave her mine unopened, as you can tell. <laughs> so she gives me mine. She's like, um, just so you know, I opened it a little bit. I hope you don't mind. Obviously, I don't mind, but it's just funny. Anyway, we're gonna be getting ready now and gossiping and... Drinking some Bulgarian Which I don't even like, but so ready to leave. Three She's hijacking later. my phone. <laughs> yeah, three hours later, we had so much to catch up on, and I wanted to show her the book of life, tell her the whole story of my life lately. <laughs> oh, tell me. Let me that. Hey, I can't. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hi, idiot. Hola. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> that <laughs> yeah. In fact, yeah. yeah. it's good. Няма да ходим в купе на Погледнем, чакай, може да бъга така да говориш пред зрителите. Пази. Пред зрителите. Тя по принцип не е. Не говори така. Иначе тук сме в центрато на София. We're in the center of Sofia. Георги Сава Раковски. And uh, this is Петя for free. Oh, it's not free. She, she's everyday expensive. She didn't like the dubstep over there. So we are going somewhere else. And we are near the skinny bar where we got so drunk skinny. last night. No skinny bar, it's closed. Let's go to Bar Friday. <laughs> She's still recovering from the last injury. Show them. What happened? I heard my palsy. <laughs> you gotta include that. But we need cross cross. They don't have this. <laughs> Thank you. Morning. 
I'm not doing well. I have no idea what it is. Going to meet two friends. We're gonna go get our nails done together. I'll put you on the car. Apparently it was from one o'clock and I thought it was from three. It is a good thing that they mentioned because I was gonna completely miss it. I literally woke up, redid my makeup and left. I got some, ooh, some goodies, some caffeine. My head hurts. I don't even know where I'm going by the way. Good soup. And I think I'll okay. That was so much fun. I really needed that and we had so much to catch up on. We didn't even have time to finish everything. But now I need to go because I'm going with my parents to this drawing workshop thing. You draw a painting and you drink wine. They basically show you literally step by step so anyone can do it and it's just like a fun social thing and i've wanted to take my parents for ages my sister is also coming and that's basically their christmas gift for me actually this and the dinner after no one could think of anything that they want for christmas and i was like well if that's the case why not go to an experience and do something together so this whole evening is my gift to them and i hope they like it i'm super excited because i love going and i haven't been in ages and i think they love it too I think the night was a success. We had such a good time. It's currently 11.30 and I'm going on my leave me alone walk of the day. <laughs> I feel like I haven't moved at all today. So I'm gonna go to the only big supermarket that's open. I am on the hunt for these amazing coffee candy things that I found in a gas station we went to my grandma's and they're so good and they have actual coffee in them i became immediately obsessed with them so now i'm trying to find them somewhere else and also maybe this is going to be part three of the snack hunting we'll see shop is closed google maps doesn't know what it's talking about Good morning. Here's mom with the dog and dad bringing coffee. He has a birthday today. Good morning to you. <laughs> I'm going to meet a friend for ice skating and for a catch up because we haven't seen each other in so long. Like it's been, I think, more than two years, way too long. And then we're probably gonna grab a coffee or something. I'm almost late, but I'm not. So I have, a, I have time for a quick coffee with the parents. Excuse me, like a fat little couple of walk grab some coffee and I also went to pick up this board game that I bought recently and it's one of those things that if you're not Bulgarian you'd never fully get it but it's called cards against Bulgarianness if that makes sense the jokes in this thing are so funny my memory card filled up I was literally just chatting in the car and then at some point I realized that it's not even filming I was talking to you about this game that I got and it's like cards against humanity but it's like a Bulgarian version but it has nothing to do with the actual brand but they kind of went off the same idea unfortunately it's one of those I wanted 
this card game for one year and now I did this to it nice now I'm gonna go for a run I'm super tired so I don't know how much I'm gonna do today I slept horribly last night I have like four hours of sleep I've already done ice skating and I have a headache so I'm not feeling great I'll see you after oh that was awful I did not enjoy that one bit well at least I did it so I did another 10k but like really slow 10k this time because honestly I am exhausted like I felt like I have zero energy just being on kilometer four and i was already feeling like stopping i was like oh god at least i can go home now i'm in yet another shop i came to this one to look for my stupid espresso candy things and i couldn't find them but i guess you could say this is uh, snack hunting episode three episode four done with the snack hunting for tonight still no espresso candy i've looked in at least five shops at this point but at least i'm collecting so many good snacks from so many places i'm very happy with my progress dinner time now <laughs> dinner was great I just drove to yet another supermarket to try and find those stupid espresso candy things still nothing but I found some more snacks so that was uh, snack hunt episode 6 going back home now a couple of people stayed over with my dad having drinks we might play that Bulgarian game that I bought and I'm super excited okay. <laughs> 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 Good morning, happy, I have no clue, happy what? It's currently 9.30, today is going to be a horrible, horrible, hectic day. I have so many things to do, I have a doctor's appointment, I need to go to a lab to get my blood drawn and just to do some routine stuff. I need to go to my dentist, I need to go to my hairdresser, I need to run some errands. I am meeting a bunch of school friends in the evening for a meal and then maybe a drink, I don't know, like there's just so much to do, I need to do my luggage. Let's try to adjust that, I couldn't fall asleep until probably four o'clock so it was another night of four hours of sleep i just did the most stressful parking of my entire life because my dad's car is very long i think i did a good job but it took me two attempts i haven't had any coffee i haven't had any monster i haven't had anything because i don't want to mess up my blood sugar levels or any other parameters actually i don't think i need a scarf i'll leave that here can we just appreciate this mastery unfortunately my mood doesn't match the weather i'm so grumpy <laughs> so grumpy. <laughs> Had my appointment and now I'm rushing. I'm trying to see oh, trying to see if I can still squeeze in. I hope I can. They took three I want to say bottles of blood, it's not a bottle, what is it called? I was like, great, leave some for me, please. I mean, obviously I'm being dramatic. At least now I can drink something, like a coffee or a monster, I don't know. My next appointment is at 2 o'clock with my dentist. I have a good amount of time until then. Those stupid candies. Success. I already tried it, it's disgusting, but I am so dead that I still love it, honestly. The damn candy that I've been trying to find for so long. It looked like there's a whole row of them, and I grabbed all of them, and then at the checkout I saw that it was only the one at the front that's the espresso, and then the other one is the caramel one, which is, it's still nice, but it's super standard. So I kept one caramel and only one espresso, that's all they had. Mm. I need some sugar after all of that blood taking and whatnot. I can contemplate my life for a bit. This is my favorite iced tea. It's the only iced tea that I've ever tried that actually tastes like tea. Made it to my next destination, which is Jumbo. And Jumbo is this massive Greek store. Oh my God, look at the pastel color highlighters. I need them all. I'll come back here. This used to be my happy place. I was very much into arts and crafts and they have a lot of that, but the whole shop is just a big bunch of nonsense. It's like a toy show, but they also have stationery and art stuff, but not super high quality, but also not the worst quality. They have home stuff. It's like flying tiger meets the works meets 
paper chase i don't know i can't explain it they just have everything it is so much fun like i just love coming here so much it used to be my emotional support shop and i feel like i need a bit of that today so i just wanted to come and just browse on my own for a bit i'm getting that even though i definitely don't need it so many mugs went home grabbed a bit of banitza that my mom made for lunch now i'm back in the center and i was rushing so i couldn't vlog but i'm going to the dentist now spent more than a thousand levels in two days on healthcare i mean that's not a bad thing to spend money on i'll be like a newborn soon hola <laughs> Quick update, I came for a very short run and I'm heading home to get ready for tonight. 5k done, it felt so easy after those 10k's. I think this is my last run for this visit. I'm really gonna miss this blue bitch. I'm gonna go to another shop now because I'm trying to find this thing called Bake Rose. My favorite was spinach and cheese and that's the one that I really want to get. And I can't find it anywhere and that's really concerning. I've been counting this snack hunt series only for the successful ones, but if we're counting the shops that I've gone and couldn't find whatever I was trying to find there, we're probably at episode 10 at least. Finally. with my friends from school that group of people were actually my closest friends from my class we had such a good night a lot of us live abroad so we're not always in bulgaria at the same time i am back at a grocery shop one of the things that i bought for the snack hunt which was actually a drink but it's very important my dad drank it because i didn't actually mention that that's for england so satisfying Hello, happy Friday and happy birthday to Yvette, my best friend and my partner in crime. If you're watching this, happy birthday to you, idiot. Here's that. Hello. So, I think this will be the end of this weekly vlog in Bulgaria. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. And happy new year!